Okay, so this is the first, I suppose you would call it live recording with the sound and the video together. Today we are going to work on a little bit for the feet and the ankles and then going into the hips um, and working on one of those cars variations. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Starting on the mat, in your kneeling position, all we're going to do is place the feet flat down into the mat, sitting down onto those heels and just holding it here, opening up the front of those feet. If this is a little bit too much, you can take your hands and come off those heels slightly, just so we are still opening up the front, but there's less pressure from the body weight. Um, we're just going to hold it here for a little bit of time. Coming up to that 30 second mark, so what we're going to do is alternate. We're going to come up and curl those toes under so those toes are flat into the mat, the heels are up, and then we're just going to sit back onto those heels again. We're going to hold it for about 30 seconds again. It's always good to open up these feet and these toes because they get crammed into shoes all day, every day. So you might be feeling this one in that Achilles, that calf, or maybe even into that shin also that's absolutely fine just gonna hold it here and then we're going to alternate back down feet flat onto the mat hold it here Again, you might be feeling that in the shin. Absolutely fine. Alternate up, toes under, sit back onto those heels. Make sure those toes are nice and flat. Come back under, feet flat. If you want to take it a little bit further, what we can do is just take a slight lean back. Keep the knees down, don't lift those knees up. Or if you want even more, you can lift those knees up slightly, but don't cause any discomfort or pain. And come back up, toes under, sitting onto those heels. Take it down onto the mat so we are now sitting. Starting with the right leg or the right foot, what we're going to do is place the hands on the back of the thigh, so just about underneath that knee. Bring the leg up so the foot is off the floor. And we're just going to go for a little bit of planter and dorsiflexion. So, dorsiflexion, we're going to bring the foot up as far as we can. Planter flexion, we're going to bring the foot down. Try and see how much range you can get in this one. Hold each position for a couple of seconds. Testing to see how far you can go. We're making sure the movement comes from the toes. We're not just from the foot, sorry, we're not just pointing and flexing those toes. Just 
Sí, no. And we're going to go over to the opposite side, take the leg up, hold, point the foot down for that plantar flexion, and up for that dorsiflexion. Getting some movement going in these ankles. Might feel a little bit of clicking, a little bit of crunching. And don't worry about that, just try and move through nice and smooth. Perfect. We're going to go to the right side again, or opposite side, whichever one you've been working on. Same position with the hands underneath the thighs, but this time we're going to go for some circles. So rather than that plantar flexion, we are now trying to make the biggest circle possible. We're just going one direction to start, whichever you fancy first, and just try each time to make that circle a little bit bigger. You might find at certain points it doesn't feel quite right. But just try and focus on drawing that circle. Make it the most perfect circle possible. No need to rush this one. Smooth and controlled is always the best way. And we are just going to go one more. And we are going to change direction. So whichever direction you're just going in, take it the opposite way for me. Make sure this movement's coming from the ankle. You're not just bringing that knee into play also. We're going to go for two more in this direction. One. And two. Perfect. Take it over to the opposite side. Hand underneath the thigh. Just on the back of the knee. And create that circle in whichever way you want first. Again, focus on trying to make it the most perfect circle you can, smooth and controlled. Might feel a little bit jolty at some points, but focus on trying to keep it nice and controlled. for two more in this direction one and two and in the opposite smooth controlled Two more, movement from the ankle, and that last one, perfect, and take the legs down, give them a little wiggle, shake out the feet if you need to. Okay, we're now going to gravitate up towards those hips, so you're going to take yourself into your tabletop position, tabletop position, knees underneath the hips, wrists underneath the shoulders and we're going to try and keep a nice neutral spine we don't want to sink down into those shoulders or create any arches we want to just push down into the mat keep that tabletop so with that nice neutral spine 
So from here, we're going to take one leg out to the side in a straight position. So with my right leg, foot comes out, foot is flexed, and it's straight out to the side. Now with those cars, we're trying to make those circles. So from here, what we're going to do is lift the foot up off the mat or the floor, bring it back behind, rotate and back down. We're then going to bring it back up, lift, bring it round and take it back down. That's one. We're going to go through for eight, making sure each one's nice and controlled. Three, if you need to take a little rest, a little bit of cramp going on in those glutes or anything, feel free and just pick up where you want it. I believe that should be six, but I may have miscounted. We'll go for two more. And last one. Perfect. Bring that leg in. Sit back onto these heels if you need to. Shake the legs out. Shake the arms out. And then go for the opposite side. Eight again. Take the leg out. Foot flexed. And make sure those hands are pushing down into the mat. Lift up. And bring it behind. it nice smooth and controlled keep that leg nice and straight as well try not to be tempted to bend at the knee believe that should be six so two more and that last one it's into the mat however is comfortable for you so that is your little mobility sequence for today. We worked through a little bit of range in those ankles and those feet. And then we worked into those hips also for some cars. A little bit longer than normal. Hopefully the difference with the microphone. If you like it, if you dislike it, let me know. Put it in the comment below or send a message. Um, yeah, there's your sequence.